Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Monday morning update number three. As you can see, times are hard. I got my Paw Patrol Band-Aid on. Things are uh, getting tougher by the day. This is actually the second try at this video. I recorded a different Monday morning update previously, and then just a few hours ago, we were all told that this um, social distancing kind of restriction and rules would continue to go on for another 30 days. Uh, if you haven't heard that, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but we're in it for another month. And so um, I was hoping that these Monday morning updates uh, wouldn't last long, that there'd only be a few that we'd be able to get through this quicker. Uh, but it seems like we're going to be here for some time at this point. And so the first announcement is just um, a reminder to do what you've all been doing as far as staying connected. Um, go to svccchurch.com, um, like our pages on Facebook, on SVCC Gilroy, SVCC Hollister, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to be putting out regular content almost on a daily basis. Um, our daily devotionals are going to drop in the next 24 hours, which will be cool. So there'll be daily devotionals for you to track along with in addition to the like Wednesday night worships, the Thursday theology with Sam, the Sunday mornings, and the other content we have. Um, I also will begin live streaming Bible studies shortly. And you can check those live streams on Facebook as well as YouTube. And you'll be able to join in, ask questions, and make comments. And we'll be able to interact for those things. So a lot of good stuff coming with that. Uh, additionally, number two, uh, we've been blown away by the amount of interactions we've had on our kind of help hotline. We've had several hundred interactions of people on our webpage basically signing up or asking for help. Um, and we're just trying to equip the church to do things as simple as make phone calls to those who might be uh, locked in a home by themselves, uh, make phone calls to check in on people, people. Do you have enough food? You got enough resources? Um, and so really several hundred people have, uh, checked in and interacted with that. So incredibly pleased to see how that's going. You can see that again at svccchurch.com. Uh, and then third, just sort of a brief word of encouragement that is somewhat disappointing, but I want to be honest. I broke the news um, to my daughter today that this was going to last for another 30 days. And I asked her if I could share this story. So so it's all in the clear. I'm not, you know, telling a story behind her back. I mean, she's, she's six and I asked her, can I share? Um, but I told her this was going to last for 30 more days. And she immediately began to cry. Uh, and the first thing out of her mouth when tears were coming down was, this means we can't do Easter as a church. We can't do Easter as a church. In one sense, it was sad and disappointing and discouraging. And in another, I couldn't be more proud as a father. It's one of the most precious things I've ever seen. I mean, a six-year-old hearing that we're going to be on lockdown for another 30 days and she starts crying saying this means we can't do Easter as a church and I want to be real with that um, because in one sense as we do these video recordings and these live streams going into the future there's a sense in which we are doing church we're at home we're worshiping we're hearing the, the preached word we're, we're communing with the living God and so in a sense yes church still goes on, but I don't want to, to give in to say like, this is church just as usual because it's, it's not. It, see, God's people are the church. The church is not a building. It's the people. It's the bride of Christ. But the bride of Christ is not composed of individuals. It's the corporate family of God. It's the neither Jew nor Gentile, slave nor free, male nor female body of Christ. And the Christian faith is a faith of embodiment. It's, it's not just a spiritual existence divorced from the physical world. So what I mean by that is like when Jesus says, and the scriptures say that Jesus resurrects, it doesn't mean that Jesus died and then the spirit of Jesus lived on in our hearts. It doesn't mean Jesus was crucified and then the ideas and teachings and spirit and essence of Jesus still continues to go on to this day. The res resurrection of Jesus is a 
physical resurrection. It's embodied reality. It's material space. And so the church, yes, is the people of God, but it's the corporate people of God. It's the people of God where we come together, we lay aside our differences and center on Jesus. It's composed of different ethnicities, people of different economic backgrounds, male, female, all of that. And so um, in one sense, yes, we are doing church on Sunday mornings, and I hope you're participating in it. But in another sense, I want to say that's not exactly church. Because church is the people of God, not the isolated individuals of God, but the people of God. And when the people of God come together to worship Jesus, something special happens. When the gathering of God's people occurs and there's the administration of the word, the taking of communion, the corporate praising of Jesus, something special is taking place. And so what I told my daughter is, um, yes, we won't be able to do Easter uh, as a church together. But how about this? What if we sort of make the first church service back together like a, another Easter? It'll be another Sunday uh, where we come together and say, this is the Sunday, this is the day that we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. So with that, I don't know how long these restrictions are going to last. Right now, it's for another 30 days. I don't have the answer of when it will be done, but I do have this answer. When it is done, we're going to get together and have an Easter-like service of people young and old, rich and poor, from different backgrounds, from different ethnicities, and we're going to come together and center on the person and work of Jesus Christ. So I hope you look forward to that. And in the meantime... We'll do some uh, wilderness wanderings. We're on our way to the promised land. So uh, be encouraged. Keep the faith. Stay plugged in. Stay connected. Uh, and you'll be hearing more from me every Monday for quite some time, at least a month or so. All right. Talk with you soon. Bye-bye.